I feel very bad that the chief has been kidnapped, but I can't let my feelings get involved when I'm trying to solve a case. Feelings mess things up. They muddle up your thinking. Virgil, ignoring your feelings messes things up even more. Make you angry. Anger gets in the way, too. Althea, don't preach to me. Virgil! No, I said don't! There's no denying the power of actor Howard Rollins. Since breaking into Hollywood in 1981, he has carved a reputation as a winner in films like Ragtime and case, Soldier's Story. Anywhere. Like it or not, Captain, I am all you've got. Your orders instruct you to cooperate. These days, he is once again impressing the critics with his work on television as Virgil Tibbs in In the Heat of the Night. I took the job solely based on what we were talking about the script would be, uh, what we wanted to do with it, and, the, and really the uh, idea in my mind of, wow, Carol O'Connor and Howard Rollins. That should be nice. See, the thing is, I'm getting it from both sides. In the black community, I'm too white. And in the white community, I'm too black. Well, it isn't so, so I wouldn't waste my breath arguing about it. Trouble is, I've seen people go to jail for lots of sillier things than this. I mean, I've seen it more than once. You learned about Bub, aren't you? Yes. Audiences well, love the relationship sure between the chief and Tibbs. But despite winning its time slot easily, the show has not been without its problems off the set. Both Howard and Carol O'Connor have missed shooting because of personal and health problems. And at the beginning, Howard was not even sure he should take the part. I was nervous about a series because at this point in one's career, you know, you want to be associated with successes. Uh, and I knew that Carol O'Connor would be a tremendous draw. But me being able to carry my part of the show and uh, for us, our chemistries that we felt were good to come together into a good series, you know, was the question, and it did. You know, our chemistries that we felt off camera worked on camera, and uh, consequently is what people talk about a lot. Chief! <laughs> hey, Chief, look at you. Don't you look good? You really look good. Well, I feel fine. They tell me Joanne's all right, huh? Joanne's fine. Doing just fine. How'd they kill Dugan? Well, they just uh, uh, gunned him down. Well, I told everybody you'd make it. I never doubted it for a minute. I knew you would. I told everybody. Well, there were times when I wish I was as confident as you were. When Howard sits is when we start... The challenge of a network series is demanding. The work is six days and the hours are long. That's why a return to in front of the movie cameras this summer was a welcome change. Okay, so I go over to him, and I'm here. Yeah, and you pour the coffee. Put the Cuban coffee yeah. cup. Thanks, Michael. Right, There's then... something very exciting to me yes, when I hear a Panaflex go. I mean, you know, all I need then is a cigarette and say, well, that was good. <laughs> Things aren't moving very quickly, kind of. The movie is called On the Block and represents a double homecoming for Howard. The film was shot in his hometown of Baltimore and reunites him with Steve Yeager, the director who first worked with him on stage. My plans are drawn up, my players are ready, and they're not very patient people. This is the first time we worked together in 20 years, and we were both looking forward to it. He's a pro. He's, he's an absolute consummate pro. What I, what I was just uh, explaining to the crew, he was just he was just demonstrating to, to an actor who doesn't have a whole lot of experience how an actor steps over dolly tracks and not trip over them. And here, here is Howard Rollins showing this actor how to do it. It was wonderful. And what did Howard most enjoy about his return to his home turf? I look forward to my mother's cooking. I look forward to seeing what's new about Baltimore because I've never seen a city grow and change like Baltimore has. You know, when Donald Trump par parks the princess in the harbor, baby, you know things are cooking, you know. Um, Thanks, Donald. Bring it back. <laughs> Despite his playfulness, it has not been an easy year for Howard Rollins. The tabloids have suggested trouble with the tension of a hit series. There have also been rumors of trouble with drugs. But on the block did Howard a world of good. It is a low-budget film that will not make him rich, but it did bring him home and allowed him to help an old friend. To be able to afford that uh, and to be able to see that 
my work has paid off. So did my father, who helped me tremendously, who now, who's now dead. My father passed away while we were doing Soldier Story. But for him to continue to see that I'm trying, because it's very difficult. Uh, I've had a lot of difficult days, uh, and trying to look ahead and keep my head up has been very hard for me to do. But I'm trying to decide that uh, it's worth giving it a go. Because uh, he was one of the people who, in my life, unequivocally supported me. And my father was not a wealthy man, but he made sure I was never hungry. And I want him to continue to see, wherever he is, that, um, yeah, the kid is still trying to kick faults, strengths, weaknesses, and successes included.